Okay, hopefully you were able to um, construct that first circuit quite easily and you're able to get to this point here whereby I have um, a circuit built here and very simply just one bulb. Uh, I put some extra wires in to help me out in a second so that I can uh, easily show you the next parts. I'm just going to set the, um, the battery to 10 volts just because it's a nice round number that I can work with in a minute um, and it won't be confusing when the, the numbers come in. So the first thing we can do is actually measure the current, which is the flow around this circuit. And to do that, I come over to the right here and drag the ammeter in and just put it in like any other circuit component. Or if you were playful on the last video, the dog or the hand, if you, uh, if you did do that. And as you can see here, I've got one amp flowing. And one interesting thing to note is that voltage and current are linked. This is a key part of the GCSE. Um, if I increase the voltage, first of all, obviously the lamp gets brighter and also the current increases and if i decrease the voltage right down i get a very tiny number for the current so going back up to uh oh, i said 10 volts didn't i 10 volts and one amp you can see why now why i've chosen those numbers because they're nice and easy and rounded and next thing we're going to do is go back to that uh idea from before and add a second bulb in so hopefully you're able to do this little bit tricky just make sure you go to the top there again and here's the tricky one bottom of the bulb top of the bulb yep managed it and um, what do we notice the current we're still on 10, 10 volts by the way the current's gone down to half an amp so now these guys are resisting that flow of current they're slowing it down the these electrons have got more obstacles to get through so it's actually harder for them to flow through here and they're going to flow through another one um it's not easy to get through both is it okay so that's our uh series circuit with an ammeter there's another component i want to introduce you to so i'm just going to simplify this circuit so there's not too much going on let's just get a wire back over here make sure we're flowing again still at 10 volts yep and it's this guy the voltmeter and the voltmeter measures the voltage nice and easy uh, of the circuit and these two probes here just basically measure the energy of these electrons at different points. So if I put one here and I put one here, it's telling me that the difference between this point here and this point here is 10, which makes sense because I've got a 10 volt battery and the bulb is therefore getting 10 volts. I could put it right next to the bulb if I liked and I would still show 10 volts. Okay, so these two things show the difference between two different points, which is why you might hear it referred to as potential difference. It's the difference in electrical potential energy. This is getting complicated now, but I'm going a bit GCSE on you. It's the difference between here and here, between the black bit and the red bit. Uh, which I'll show you another little trick. If I put that there and move this red one over here, what do you think this one's going to read? You might be thinking 10, but it's actually not. It's zero. And that's because these electrons haven't actually done anything at this point. They've sort of got 10 volts here and they've still got their, all their energy here. They haven't used their energy for anything. It's only after they come out the bulb that I've got 10 and it's gone down to zero. So the difference is 10 take away zero, and that means we're down, we're up at 10 volts. Or if I put it up either side of the battery, they've got lots of energy here, they've got no energy here, and the difference is 10. And I can change the, let's just move the voltmeter, I can change the voltage, and you can see that the voltmeter actually measures that. Um, have a think about this one. What about if I was to add another bulb in here? Once again, just our basic series circuit and we do that what's going to happen if i do there and there you can notice by the way that the bulbs have already got dimmer we're still on 10 volts so i'm going to go here and then here just have a little think justify your answer in your head and we're at five volts for this one bulb what about if i go here with the voltmeter and here you should be thinking also five they both get in five that guy gets five that guy gets five and they add up to ten which makes sense because of the battery giving off ten
And what about if our final idea, what if I was to put this across both the bulbs? What are you expecting to see on this voltmeter here? It's measuring the difference across both bulbs. This is getting giving out 10 volts. Think how much energy the electrons have here and how much energy they have here. Well, they've got 10 here. They've got nothing left over here. 10 take away zero. And you should have been thinking of 10, perhaps. So that's how to use a voltmeter and an ammeter. Um, gets a bit more complicated in a parallel circuit, but I invite you to have a little try and a little play. Um, again, brilliant piece of software for this.